Okay, we are live. Hello, hello. We I'm here with uh, Tom Wonsrez and a special guest for today before the game of uh, that we have tonight, which is Garlic Bread Mafia versus Gallus Esports. And the special guest is the jungler for Garlic Bread Mafia, who is the cub. And I am giving the mic to him. Thank you, thank you, Honest. Yes, yeah, so here for a little pre-match hype special cringe, you know, rant. So, uh, Gallus Esports, let's duel. I know you won before, but it's our time to rule. I don't care if you're a 1, 2 or 22 trick top. Fendorn's going to swing you about that lane and show you the meaning of shame. Troz is out. This makes me sad. That's because his replacement is just fucking bad. Your marksman's your marksman calls himself adept, but he's gonna get fucking slept. As for your support, Mr. Fay, what can I say? You left global Spartans on the eve of battle, left us for slaughter like cattle. No holds barred, I'm gonna fuck you hard. Joking aside, Kieran, I love you bro, no homo. Gallic Bread Mafia versus Gallus Esports. Let's fucking go. Uh, that was a uh, very little clap from me. And uh, I think <laughs> we can just move on from this. Hit risk, yeah. Just, just, I, see, I... just seen in the, uh, in the Discord uh, an announcement. We are now cancelling all pre-game interviews, quote-unquote, for the foreseeable future. <laughs> that's not me saying it yep no nah, I love that um, I think we're all about ready to get into this game yes uh, also a little bit of uh, pre-game info uh, Galus will be using an ESAP Korean barbecue as their jungler last minute is not available to play sadly so we will have to move on uh, so they will lose first three bands in all the games they, their sub-jungler is used. Uh, and yeah, other than that, we can move on. I have played versus Garlic Bread Mafia, like, last week, I think. And we got kind of slapped, so... Ah, kind of slapped. Where do, you think, where do you think their strengths are, then? From the perspective of playing against them? Uh, I mean, their their macro is pretty good. Like, whenever you take something from them, they will take something on the other side, and most of the time they will just have a better tempo than you on the map. Uh, I believe, also talking to, like, previous players uh, from Garlic Bread, uh, their coach has, like, put in a lot of effort to teach them uh, macro. I believe uh, it's still faint that he, that's their coach. Um, he he has put in a lot of work to teach them macro, teach them how to push their advantage and um, and to just capitalize on any enemy mistakes. So yeah, uh, I think they are kind of a team that's like how to say it, bigger than some of their parts, if you know what I mean. Yeah, greater than the sum of their parts. Oh yes, as yes. the saying goes. Yeah. Um... Yeah, I totally get that. Like, yeah, so if you, if you would say like just isolate one v ones in a head to head, you know, that's not their strongest point. But as a team, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah although, I, I, yeah, last time I believe Galus Esports has won, so Garlic Bread Mafia has something. As Cub has said, they they have to get their revenge. I will check real quick. How their previous game has looked. Yeah, it was a 2 0 for Gallus last time. Ooh. So, yeah. Uh, yeah that's yeah, curious. Red Mafia looking to uh, bring it back this time. There's a lot of um, there's a lot of trash talk in the pregame lobby that I don't normally see. <laughs> a lot of allusions to I hope your league plane is better than your rapping. So. I mean, can it be? Can it be worse? <laughs> we'll we'll see how far that gets them. Yeah, and here we go with the bans in, and the first one's gonna be the Zaya. Uh, I haven't actually checked out Opido Gigi's 
So I'll look at them real quick. Because, as I said, I kind of came in here last uh, yeah. second. I've got here, look in the, I'll post them again, but with slightly adjusted names, like with the correct, you know, who's in the lobby. But of course, as you mentioned earlier, Gallus, they don't have any bands and there's no way to skip a band. We just have to wait that timer out. Yeah. So we'll see what the Gallic Bread Mafia's second band is now. Yeah, and just for the information of the viewers, uh, champions, uh, which are currently disabled, like globally, are Nyla and Sivir, as per our rule set. Uh, so we will not see either of those. Although Gwen and Master E are um, not classed as the mid scope updates, so those are available. I am. If someone plays Mastery in in a, in this game, I will be very curious to see it personally. Yeah, I mean, we we don't really see it in organized play that much. I mean, yeah, I don't really know how he's doing after those recent little touches. Not really. Uh, he already got hot peaks, so yeah. you know. <laughs> uh, also, yeah, so we see three buns aimed at the AD carry. So we, we, we can see who's the primary carry of Galus Esports. It's the Adept ADC. Yeah, I mean, if you just if you just look at solo Q rating, he is the highest ranked player on that team. So whether or not they've just gone based thinking on that or they've gone based off you know their previous matchup, we will have to see. And the Twitch locked in as well, straight away. No hesitation there. Yeah, uh, Pep is definitely someone who likes the hyper carries, and Twitch, I believe, is one of the maybe not the premier carry at the moment, not the premier AD carry, but we can see it in pro play every now and again. Uh, I would say in Europe, we've seen it from Upset, for example, and yeah. it has been popping off a little bit. He has uh, been practicing a lot over the last few days as well. He's got a lot of games on that Twitch in a short space of time, so they must have been. I think they may be picking a sort of specific. Yeah, and on the other side, we see the Sena Wukong locked in. Not sure if it's gonna be Wukong Jungle or top, or maybe bot lane. And Sena also one of the pretty big AD carries still. I believe we actually got played against Pep on. Uh, on the same setup, which was like the Twitch Renata, if I can check it real quick. Uh, but yeah, so we've got the Renata and the Swain locked in for the Garlic Bread Mafia. Oh yeah, it, oh, it was Twitch Renata. Twitch Renata. Yeah, and we lost in 20 minutes. Ooh. So, <laughs> <laughs> so it, it worked pretty well for them, that game. Yes, yes. And uh, Swain versus Nico in the mid... I assume that's the matchup. Uh, Magical Mid, I believe, has played a lot of Nico in his yes. all-time VO career games this season in solo queue. 134. So, so I could say he's like he he's known for the Nico pick and uh, the bans coming through. Uh, Garlic Bread Mafia still has their top lane open, so some bans for that side. It's a Mundo, actually. Yeah, Mundo I have not seen Volibar. that champion. And Volibear probably for the Cub. Cub also a big fan of the Electric Bear. And on the other side, it's the Bans versus Korean Barbecue, which is going to be the Jarvan. They don't want this early game pressure from the enemy jungler and the Gragas, which is also a jungle slash top lane flex. Yeah, with with it being uh, a substitute jungler as well, sometimes teams kind of want to just take away safe junglers, like something like a Jarvan that you know pretty much everyone can play and it fits into a team quite easily. You don't need to play around it. So it's worth taking away picks like that. There's a Fiora. Two trick top, I assume. Yep, and the blind pick Fiora definitely a brave pick. Uh, but I don't think Tendoran 
from what I know, he's always been more of a tank player, so that's definitely something that can uh, mess up a lot of his champion pool. But the Shen can be a decent matchup into the Fiora. Because uh, you can block the true damage procs. Uh, yeah, and generally, I, just, yeah, go on. I was say, it ties in really nice with that macro intensive play style that Garlic Bread Mafia want. Like, with the ultimate, a lot of extra map control. Final pick with a trundle in the jungle. Not sure how I feel about that one. I'm not a fan, but it can work. Um, I'll see what the last pick is going to be now. And the last pick was Seraphine for the support. Okay, so this is going to be the Senna Seraphine, and I believe that Seraphine will be the farming one. That would be pretty weird if it was the Senna. But uh, that's a pretty pretty strong lane. A lot yeah, of the... poke versus the Twitch. The Senna in, the, uh, in that vault lane role, a lot of people were quite surprised uh, that on 12-13 she didn't really get tweaked. Um, I saw the balance team on Twitter uh, saying that uh, it was mainly because she's still, it's only in the bottom lane in that, in like, sort of being a bot lane AP carry role where she's really start, starting to get a big win rate, whereas obviously in, like, mid and also support, win rate's still not that good, so they're not adjusting her just yet, but they are keeping an eye on her. But she's a very strong pick in that bot lane. Yeah, and what we can see is already... Uh, you obviously have the Fiora who wants to split push and match the Shen, but on the uh, the from the rest of Galus's esports uh, roster, you can see team fight, team fight, team fight. They have a lot of AOE, a lot of engage, and also have decent way of dealing with uh, Garlic Bread Mafia walking into them with uh, Nico and Seraphine ultis. Yeah. So yeah, uh, in team fights that's definitely scary. But on the other hand, there's Swain and Renata, so you also don't want to run into the enemy team so <laughs> i will be i'm very curious to see how this will how the entire game will go yeah i wonder if we're going to see sort of like quite drawn out sort of like you know like back and forth rather than where they don't want to engage because of those two like trying to get the ults out of each other before they engage could be funny to see something like that um well, as far as lanes go, it's going to be a pretty rough time for Twitch early game, right? Like, Pep playing the Twitch into the Seraphine, into the Senna. It's going to be quite quite tough there to get through those early levels. Yep, but on the other hand, if he manages to just survive, I think that will be a very, that can be a very scary Twitch buffed up by the Renata. And uh, with possibly the dive dive bomb with the Shen ulti on top of him, going in with with the Shen ult always funny. Oh, was it the submarine? Is that what yeah, yeah. Oh, the, the <laughs> submarine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have. Uh, I remember playing versus Shaco and Galio doing that to me as an AD carry, and that was not fun. Uh, but yeah, Shen Twitch can do pretty similar things. <laughs> yeah, if you don't see either of those two on the map. Assume you're in trouble. <laughs> if you're alone, if you're alone in lane, you can't see Twitch, you can't see Shen, you might be about to die. Yep. And we are moving through the delay. Thirty seconds left. So who do you think has the edge based on draft? Which one would you prefer to play? Um, oh, hard question. I am. Um... I, I I think I would prefer to be on the side of Gallus right now. I think it's quite okay. yeah. They've got quite a short range team, Garlic Red Mafia, except for the Twitch, who obviously needs quite a long time to come online. And I think in the early game, you know, Gallus' composition definitely has a bit of an edge. And if they can build that momentum early on in the game, it will be really hard for Garlic Red Mafia to get back in. 
Like I said, Twitch has got, got to hang on until they get strong, but if they lose too much, it'll be too late. What do you think? Uh, I think I agree. And also, on the other hand, you have the, you have the Fiora win condition. Also, I believe at some point, like two items, Fiora will start winning versus Shen, and Shen won't, won't really be able to do much. Yeah, he won't be able to beat stand in lane with a... Yeah, so uh, maybe if anything, everything else fails and 2 trick top manages to get ahead or just get to scale, uh, the rest of Galus can just hang on and uh, the Fiora will just pop off in the side lane. That's another win con for them. Uh, and yeah, we are in the loading screen. We'll see how long it takes. I'm looking if there's any curious things regarding summoners or runes. Ignite on Senna is actually kind of weird, I would say. Uh, yeah, you normally see people take the heal. Yeah, and if someone goes Ignite, it's the quote-unquote support to the Senna that does it. And yeah. we will be in the game shortly. Past the black screen. My favorite bit of any stream. Yeah, I am in the darkness currently. Yeah. <laughs> got pl I've got name tags. Nothing else. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's all we can see for now. Oh, uh, click on click on the progress bar now, it's up. Okay. And get to 10 seconds and stop. Are we doing it? Okay, I'm on 10. Okay, Blaze gonna count us in, or do we count in? I can't remember. Nice. Okay, we are ready. Scoreboard set up. Stream. Uh, hopefully, yeah, stream has visible, visible client. That's good. I don't know if you saw last week. Uh, oh, there were some. The Lee Sin stream. <laughs> it was a black screen for about 20 minutes, but sorted this week. So both teams just headed to the river, kind of spread out, not really looking to do anything level one, it doesn't look like. Yeah, classic 5.0 spicy coming in from either of the teams. Nope. Uh, oh. <laughs> it's talking the devil. Sorry, I'm about to is... Yeah. Looking like he's asleep, and yeah. it's not gonna get caught by the Swain E. Swain not able to get the grab there, so they're just gonna, just gonna chill now, just reset. But yeah, that was nearly really bad. He's look, maybe he was looking at his phone or tapped out. Yeah, <laughs> we've all done it. Yeah, who who cares, right? <laughs> I I you don't need to look. I did. This is my favorite part of every of every League of Legends game when like people just fight point but they don't actually look at what's happening they get yeah. caught and then <laughs> try or even like even better when they like get caught already and they are basically dead but I still go for the flash of hope yeah oh yeah I mean yeah we've all done it no one's above that no one's above the level one flash that's never gonna work so, yeah, now we're getting to start. Jungle-wise, both started uh, top side. Korean Barbecue now on his Krug's cub still. Yep, he's onto the Grump now. So we'll see where they head from there. If you want to go for like a full clear or maybe move top, you never know. And the Fiora getting two good vitals already. So that's going to be a fair bit of damage early game. Yeah. Nice trading from two trick top. At level yeah, ooh, two. the root on for Depth AT is in a lot of trouble. He's got the flash, but he's not going to go for the flash of hope. That's first blood over to the pep. Yeah, really disrespecting the level two. Like, you gotta remember three melee creeps from the second wave. Yeah. If you don't respect that, you will be dead. But really nice Q from Grumpy getting the Seraphine. Yeah. And that's gonna be first blood, also wasting the exhaust. 
yeah, the exhaust came out near the end and uh, didn't help, unfortunately. So it just doesn't have that cooldown available. Uh, Pep also used exhaust and the ignite from Grumpy, so maybe that's something, yeah. you know, consolation prize. Yeah, the cub looking for a lot of action. Also, Grumpy moving a lot, uh, around the map from the early levels when Pep decided to recall. Yeah, I wasn't able to make anything happen mid as uh, Shiki had magical mid like pushed right up to his turret. So, yeah, just had to recall there. But they've still, and, you know, they've got their backs are in sync, so that's still good. Yeah, and as we said. One thing that you don't like from a Seraphim Senna lane is the poke and uh, Pep picking up the Vamp Scepter to get a little bit of sustain going towards the Bork. So he will have a bit of an easier time in the lane. It's not going to get poked out as easily. Yeah, just that little bit of extra sustain, just stay healthy. So we're back in the bot lane now. We'll see. I think, yeah, they're going to... Maybe respect that Twitch Renata a little bit more. They got a huge wave building up though. So, that is going to be a hard push. Oh, Shiki's on point with these uh, with these grabs now. Magical yeah, with the mana. Swain is, and that gives him a lot of stats because like they, this can stack up to a lot of bonus HP from the for the Swain, so he will get very tanky if he keeps getting those. Yeah, he is out of mana now, so you have to have Oh, the cup go for this gank in the bot lane. The root on Starry support flashes away, and I think they're safe there. But that's some uh, that's a nice gank from the cub. That's both flashes in the bot lane now on two immobile champions. So a return gank in that bot lane will be very, very tasty for the cub can come back for that one. Yeah, and Gramp is looking really good on this Renata, getting the grabs. Yeah, connecting those handshakes yeah. that we've seen. I had to check. I was like, I was like, I know it's called handshake, but is it called something handshake? No, it's just called handshake. But I, wondered I, what a I actually name. didn't know because, like, I used to care more. Oh, never mind. Yeah. We'll oh, go here we go. So where's the handshake going to come out? It's been rooted, but Starry Spot has become the sacrificial lamb here. Adept ADC throwing the roots down from the backline, laying down the damage. Wukong has come in the back. Korean Barbecue's pillar kept away. Starry Spot is going to be the first to drop. The Pep gets another kill in his pocket. The Cub now just wailing on Adept ADC. That's a double kill for Twitch. Korean Barbecue, can he secure one kill? There's the Renata W and keeps Pep alive. And that is. Three kills down in that bot lane, that is huge for Garlic Bread Mafia. All yeah, this was the worst case possible, honestly. Twitch is getting really far ahead now. Uh, Korean Barbecue going in for the for the counter gang, but Starry support was already pretty much dead at this point, and you could see that they were kind of hesitating it was like do we want to go in do we not want to go in and uh, hesitation yeah. usually ends up in tragedy yeah. yeah i only think like you know i mean hindsight's twenty twenty, but when starry sport just like moved away just to go look i'm gonna die that's that might have been the better play in hindsight but you know they had korean barbecue coming down so they thought maybe they could make it happen Maybe a little bit of a lack of synergy, of course, with it being a, a substitute player and an emergency one at that. So Ping's coming out for the dragon, spawned about a minute ago. So Garlic Bay Mafia are where I want to go for that one. I know when they're in the, the last split, they were really big on those like early dragon timers and like where to have their wave states when that dragon spawned. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's uh, also still... from what I know. Uh, as as I talked about earlier, the thanks to their coach, yeah, who put a lot of emphasis on early drakes. So yeah, yeah they remember, are in a really good position to take the first one. I remember interviewing the uh, coach actually after after you mentioned that. Oh, not for that. Hey, after you mentioned that, I remember interviewing the coach uh, last split, and he was talking about yeah, they basically have like a bible of like. When dragon spawns, your lanes need to be like this, and they just stuck to it and like drilled it and practiced it. So that looks like they're still going for that style of play as they're 
about to take this uh, first Mountain Drake. Yeah, and Mountain Drake definitely very useful versus like bursty champions, which you could say Nico versus like comps that want to one-tap you. The extra resistances will definitely be useful. And that's a little bit of an all-in from Shiki. I don't think it will equate to anything. The Demon Flare doesn't actually connect. So that will be just the cooldown wasted. Yeah, this top lane has been very, very even back and forth. Two trick top now. Gunny's pop the ultimate, get one vital, two vitals. Third one, he can't get the fourth though. So Doran. Then Doran is going to be safe. Yeah, and Thendoen has the Stand United available. We'll see how he uses it. At You generally want to use it offensively. Using the global cooldowns defensively usually just pretty much sucks. Yeah. You never want to do that. Plus there's and... nothing worse than like the Shen ults in. You've already died and he just gives over another kill. Look at this dive in the bot lane. Star Spot is gone. Adept ADC throws out the ultimate, but it's not going to be enough against four members. Juggling the Surya aggro nicely, but oh, Vendoran does drop. But just like you said, you it's like they were listening in. They wanted to use the uh, Shen ultimate offensively. There it was for that dive bot. They got the yep. double kill. Oh, Kareem Barbecue has come in. Center ultimate doesn't connect, but he might get a double here. Grumpy with a really nice handshake, tossing him back. There's a shield, and Cub is here to protect his teammate. Yeah, Grumpy and down. that's just going to be... Actually, it ended up being a 2 for 2 in the extended trade, and Fiora will just have the lane on her side. He's in... He didn't really push. Uh, just kept the wave on his side and is freezing it against Endoran, so that's gonna be a bit painful. Uh, let me check how much XP is he ahead. Not that much, actually. Uh, so yeah, Thendoran is getting two assists for the effort, but also gave up a kill. Didn't was to use the flashback, and now he's also missing the teleport. So he really wants to push that wave in. Yeah, he needs to get that back on his side of the map. It's uh, very dangerous to play here. Green Barbecue on that Wukong. Moving top side. Looks like he might want to get him while he's with the wave. Yeah, it's pathing, but uh, they they know. That bush was warded by Thendoran, so he's not in trouble yet. Yeah, doing one thing most of the top laners don't do, which is warding. <laughs> Just done one and... three. It's two to top, there's the vitals, one gone, dashed out, cream barbecue coming into the gank, flash immediately from Fendoran. Sorry, magical mid, I'm daft, but the ultimate, that is going to secure that one. There's cream barbecue. Yeah, and... that gank happened as well. I just wanted to pick up on, uh, cream barbecue has the rift herald. They'll probably drop it, yeah, give the yeah. plates to Fiora, you want to get her nice and fat. Ooh, but at the same time, fight. Twitch looking for Dolin. Yeah. He's, he's putting down a lot of damage, can't dive. Because they're a little bit too squishy for that, but you know, Twitch does so much damage nowadays. But, yeah. There's just so much pressure in the spot lane, Adept and Starry can barely get near the wave. Yeah, and he already has the Borg, which is a lot of damage on those auto attacks. A little bit of a bait. Ooh! Magical mm, mid yeah. might die, never mind. Nah, no, Kree Barbecue's gonna pick this one up with the counter gank. Starting to get there now. Oh, and in the bot lane, the Archimalt comes down, the pep grabs that kill onto Starry support. Very low, but there's just nothing Adept can do about it. Yeah, and we we were uh, we saw the disaster that happened early in the bot lane, but Galus seemed to be picking the tempo back up yeah, and totally getting good. the Fiora ahead, which I think is the most important part. As I said, like it's one fallback they have in their composition. Just play for the Fiora split pushing, and the Fiora got nice and fed with all the plates in the top lane. We'll see what they can do with it and. Uh, an ultimate misses. Yeah, not quite. It's a deceiving hitbox. But yeah, I think I think it's the right play, to be fair. You know, just let the bot lane just try and just get as much XP as they can. 
Uh, the Pep going for the 1v2 with his ultimate puts down so much damage. That is unreal, but are going to be safe now. Cream Barbecue is here to help. Cream Barbecue really going for just counter ganks and magical mid as well. Yeah, you never back. know which one of them yeah. it is. When they're, they're, it's when they were both bought. I don't know which one's hanging back, which one's going in. Oh, Starry Sport, you were too far forward on your own. Too far forward on your own. A Shen ult, maybe a bit of an overkill, and let's see if 2 Trick Top can actually get something out of this. Yeah, it looks like Rift Herald's about to spawn as well. About 30 seconds yeah. on that one. And they actually get the second break of this, so I would say that's pretty worth Individually, Thandoran is not getting much out of it because it was just an assist on a 0 4 uh, champion, which yeah. I believe is not gonna be much gold. No, not at all. I mean, yeah. with the CS that he's missed, he's I'm pretty sure he's behind in gold. Yeah, uh, yeah, he's like a thousand gold behind just from the CS. Yeah, but he keeps his AD carry ahead, they yeah. keep the dragon stacking as well, and it's gonna be the Ocean Soul. Swain with Ocean Soul, pretty scary. Yeah, it's not. Ugh, it's not. It's not fun to play against Ocean Soul Swain. Oh, we Ooh. see Cub behind the enemy lines. Back in uh, the charm onto the Korean barbecue gets the knock up the pep. Maybe probably a little bit too overconfident here. Shiki is gonna grab Starry Spot on that back as Korean barbecue and Adept run for their lives. But there's an eco. Ooh, flash out the ultimate from the cub. That's really nice, but it's going to leave Grumpy to uh, die twice. Yeah, that was a pretty big mistake from the pep on. We yeah. see Fiora teleported Ooh. in. Yeah, it's teleported in. Flash is trying to get the vitals. Got all four. Just secures the kill. Adept has now come in to help, but I don't think they win this 2v2 right here. Then Doran has got. Yeah, he's pretty tanky, and yeah, they've got the damage between him and the cub. Yeah, and the cub. He's gonna keep chasing. He yeah, gets he's a got that pillar. pillar. Mm, so Senna comes here. in. Yeah. Run, little this, troll. <laughs> Run. He should be safe. Yeah, there's a W. Yeah. There we are. Oh, meanwhile, Tendoran in the Ooh. mid lane. And that baited was the only go. Yeah, <laughs> baited in there. That was nice. So, Rift Herald is up, so we'll see if that second Herald, which team tries to go for that. There's a lot of vision for the Garlic Brain Mafia around that now. Starting to pop up, although Two Chip Chop's going to put a stop to that. Yeah, and Magical Mid on this Niku, got to upload him, actually popping off already on the th on three kills. I think he'll finish the Proto Belt right now. Uh, yeah. Yeah, and that Nico's gonna be scary. Uh, you yeah. can see that he, the guy knows his knows his champion. He does a lot of cool things with the clone. Yeah. And the passive. That's it. using that. It like really separates kind of like your an experienced Nico from like if I was trying to pick up Nico, you know. I, I get Nico on Aram. That clone runs straight down every single time because I forget what to do with it. <laughs> Ooh, flash blown for Starry Support, kind of out of position there. Uh, a little disconnect, but we're back, we're sorted. Looks like they're gonna, yeah, Gallibro Mafia are gonna get this Rift Herald. That'll be nice. Second one. Obviously, first one was used against them. So we'll see where they want to drop this one. Don't think, yeah, no. Um, yeah. Gallus can't contest here. Yeah, I probably just wanna throw it down mid to get the tower. You're not really going to get the top tower, and I don't think it's really worth at this point to use the Herald for it, so probably you want to grab that mid tower, because that's the most important one. You want to open up the map, and the bot lane is yeah. already gone as well, so... so oh. mid turret is only on a 1,000, so it'll die in one hit. Two-trick top, ooh, really overextended here, trying to get away. Shiki just draining his health there. The pep as well going, I've only got five kills, I want some more. Yes, no attacks, but two tricks, two trick, yeah, two trick top. He's nearly got like a, nearly got the escape, but look what all the, all that pressure that he's drawn. That's left four members of Gallus to just take this mid turret and just carry on. Yeah, Gallus trading. 
the objectives, uh, the objective for the kill. But yeah, two trick top got a bought a lot of time, and the berserk is coming out and will not equate to anything. Oh, but Star Sport caught out ah. by the cub. Cub's gonna get him. Although the rest of his team, do they need him? Ultimate trying to save the pep doesn't. Uh, doesn't secure that extra kill adept ADC. Starting to put out some decent damage on this Seraphine, but then Doran is like, no, absolutely not. Put a stop to that. Yeah, Six we can see there. how dangerous this Nico Wukong combo can be. A lot of first damage, and the pep just gets annihilated. But now yeah. the push with the health, so we see, we can That's see it. how oh, much health only on to the, uh, to two as well. So it's totally out of before they dropped it. Oh, wow, they really didn't need it for that one. Um, yeah, it's going to get a headbutt off onto this inhibitor turret when it stops pathing weirdly. And they're going to headbutt that uh, now while this dragon's here. Ooh, uh, two trick top kind of away yeah, from his team there. Um, trying to collapse something, but the pillar kind of less helpful that time <laughs> yeah it was looking like two trick top is trying to give a little bit of a donation to the enemy yeah. team, but yeah oh, and oh, the nico made with a beautiful nico ultimate that is immediately just nuking and the pep manages to get that kill comes back to life they turn in it magical mid gone adept adc gone and wow from such a beautiful engage from magical mid is an ace for the garlic bread mafia yeah, and the Renata bailout coming and Clutch not letting them kill the cub. He stays alive, can put in some yeah. more damage. The pep also had a really nice flying in this fight, so yeah. This was a really bit big fight for uh, Garlic Breath Mafia. I think this might be a bit of a turning point. Puts them at the soul point, gave them fair bit of advantage. The game was pretty even and now it's a 5k gold advantage. Yeah, that's really blown the game wide open for them. Uh, and if you look at that goal as well, like, it's in that bot lane where you're looking. We've got 10,000 gold nearly on Twitch, which is, you know, uh, 3,500 more than the Seraphine. Uh, even even uh, Renata's got an extra thousand over her counterpart in the center, so. A lot yeah. of gold in that bot lane. Yeah, even the Shen is not that far behind anymore, and at this point his only job is to ult whoever is getting targeted. So... Uh, and Fiora doesn't seem to be at the point where she can just perma split. You probably need the second item, probably the Hydra should come in, and then maybe. And it looks like he might be getting caught again. And one person we haven't spoke about much is Cub, who's sitting comfortably on 8 kills. 0 yeah. deaths, 6 assists. That, that rap, obviously, he got himself amped up with the pre-game rap, because he, yeah, he's having yeah, an incredible performance. Oh, the route onto Renata, but pulls Adept ADC in the Cub straight in on that. There's the Renata ultimate as well, just keeping Ooh. them in place. Korean Barbecue drops as well. Magical mid manages to get one on the return, get, shuts down Pep, but they've still got the Cub alive. So they've still got one of their main threats on the table. And that means that Gallus have to retreat. Yeah, the Renata ulti was huge. I think he caught at least four people with it. Yeah. So that definitely disrupted a lot of damage. Oh, and all in from 2 3. Two v one. Get a lot of damage down to Shiki, but there's just. They're too tanky. The Swain Shen, too tanky. Yeah. And at this point, the Fiora, as I said, doesn't really have the sustain, doesn't have the damage to get through those really long fights. Yeah, kind of pops her abilities and then she's like, oh, they're not dead yet, what do I do now? Uh... Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> oh, Star support using that on Volga just, just, Just the greatest item when you're on support, you know. Being able to one-shot wards. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's pretty nice and makes your vision score look better. Yeah, <laughs> boosted vision score, absolutely. Yeah. So you might be zero eight, but just you look at your team and tell them. But I got a better vision score. Yeah, but but I've got a hundred vision score. How have we not won? It's like, yeah. 
Because <laughs> you've just been killing wards in the back of Baron Pit after they took it, you know. Doesn't really help. Just gets you a vision score. Um, so, speaking of Baron, you know, that is up. Cub is going to start that. Not really... Gallus, you know, they're not really in a position to contest this. Um, and I don't even know if they know it's happening. I mean, it must doesn't be suspicious. seem like they have any vision. The blue trinkets are both on cooldown. It's only now coming up, so I think that's way too late, and the Baron will be secured. Yeah, so that's now just another tool that they have. Uh, Galibar Mafia have two trick top going. Right, I want a 1v1. Let's have a 1v1, Vendoran. No teammates to bail you out. Let's see what happens. Oh, Adept ADC is caught and Adept ADC is dead. The pep's damage is just... Whew. Yep, to almost three item Twitch. And uh, Seraphine doesn't have Green much of resistances. Yeah. Magic oh. Mid catches the Renata, but they have blown, like, the two ultimates there to try to kill that one, so... Whether or not they're going to need that before those they come up, we'll, we'll have to see, but they did get a nice shutdown. Yeah, that's... Two things that are not available for... Uh, for Garlic Beth Mafia are the bailout and the... Uh, the hostile takeover. Today I learned what the name of the <laughs> the, is. The stinky cloud thing, yeah. Um... <laughs> Uh, but it looks like Gallus wants to take this Drake before Garlic Bread Mafia will react. And I think they will succeed at this. Cub is not interested in taking it over. He says, I'll yeah. just take your mid lane instead. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, and Trundle absolutely just demolishes turrets as well. Two to chop kind of meet him. They got an objective bounty off that as well as obviously the Dragon Yeah, and we can just... see Cub is a bit overextended, maybe. No, he'll take the Blast and it should He's be right. fine, yeah. Well, the Pep is a, <laughs> a little bit close there. Yeah, but actually... Ooh, uh, oh, tactical yeah. TP to defend <laughs> the top tier one. <laughs> the most important objective, the top tier. Oh, my word. Two trick top in the middle of it. Nico, huge ultimate protect his teammate they just don't have any follow-up at the moment which is a shame because and all like that you see how much damage that puts down that shows that they still have a chance yeah two trick top not the best decision in my opinion this tower just just let them have it yeah bro. like no one needs to out a turret at 25 minutes yeah but thanks to thanks to magical mid he is gonna survive and the push might not be as successful anymore because they lost a lot of hp yeah. and that's just gonna be the outer tower i mean they've still got oh man why is this happening they've got about half the time on the baron unless my eyes are broken in which case they've got about an eighth it's definitely one of those two numbers though um uh, it just <laughs> Wait, it, it was an eight. It, it yeah. just ran out, yeah. yeah. It was, I knew it was, gosh darn it. So, uh, two trick top, yeah. He tried to get claim an objective back for his team. Not able to, Thindoran is there to stop him. We've got Dragon and Baron are both about three minutes away. Yeah, and we will see if Garlic Bread Mafia decides to trade the objectives again. Or they'll pick what they want. Ooh, a lot of damage coming down from this Fiora onto Thendoran. But I'm Grumpy is here. Backup has arrived. Oh, the, the bailout is here. On Thindoran. Ooh, bailout is gone now. So Thendoran dies, he's dead forever. Ooh, look at that hostile takeover. That was really nice. He didn't actually connect to the people at the back, but it zoned them off it and uh, kept them safe. Yeah, and that's one thing that happens in the Shen versus Fiora. Like, you didn't get the Fiora ahead enough, so she can't just uh, run the Shen over. You can see that Thandoran has enough wave clear to just clear the wave and back off. Yeah, he can sort of match that Fiora and what she's trying to do. Uh, two items got that Hydra now, so we'll see. If he starts to scare. Oh, I don't think this is going to go well. Cub 907, the deathless Trundle just.
cracking two trick top. Shiki's here, like, I want some more assists. I've got 10 assists. Let's have another. Oh, nice repost. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of damage down on to come back to. Two trick top doing his best there. And is able to escape the 2v1. That's really nice. Oh, Adept ADC. Ultimate comes out a little bit too late with the exhaust. Pep. Another kill in his pocket. That's nine kills on the Twitch and alongside nine kills on the Trundle. Yeah, Adept ADC with the uh, exhaust of hope. <laughs> and flash as well actually they're both on cooldown now yeah and let's see if garlic bread mafia can open the in hip the wukong is behind them yeah the really nice coming in as well it. yeah fiora's going for it doesn't have the support of her team just yet though so two shen top. coming in still alive but gone yeah shen's coming in the cubs coming with the flank korean barbecue oh another Really nice Nico ultimate, but where's the follow-up? Hostile takeover sends them berserk. There's only two members, the bot lane, running for their lives. Nope, three members. I cannot count. And, yeah, they secure that inhibitor with little trouble now. Cream Barbecue tries to get Shikyu separated from his team. Flash, just to stay safe there. Yeah, that was, again, insane engage from Magical Mid catching i think three or four people one shotting the enemy bottling pretty much but it's just not enough the rest of his team is just too far behind to dish out any sort of damage to give him any sort of follow and let's see what they are doing now they're gonna go for the drake they just want to deny the soul yeah they deny the soul but so it'll be interesting to see if Garlic Bear Mafia can test this or go, do you know what, we're going to go Baron. It looks like they're going for the contest option. Um, yeah, and so once good. again, two trick top, a bit ambitious. Yeah, the one man front line is front lining hard. Nico isn't there, which I think is the reason why the rest of them, they just get run down. Depth ADC is gone. Yeah. Two trick top obviously died as well, and now they get the dragon. Yeah, and that's three dead, so let's see how much they can take of this fight. I don't think they can push for the end, but probably no, they'll just get the bottom. Yeah. yeah. And look to Baron, maybe try that. for another inhibitor. Yeah, but at this point, uh, luckily Seraphine got the Camtek Putrefire, so the healing will not be as big from the Ocean Soul. Yeah, Ocean Soul, Death Dance, Blade of the Ring King. There's a fair little bit of healing there. And obviously Swain is, you know, Swain. Yeah, yeah. So we will see how much they can take of this Nashor. Uh, most of the wave clear from uh, Galus is magical. So that will definitely be a bit hard for them to clear the Baron enhanced minions. Yeah, there's actually, got a, just checking the chat, I've got a couple of people saying uh, that it's like kind of questioning going for the dragon, going for the baron, and saying why didn't they just end. I, and I, th I think it's kind of, this is this is Garlic Bread Mafia's preferred way to play. They don't want to take the risk. They just really want to hammer it home. Two trick top, possibly overextended. He's got Korean barbecue. That turret is not particularly healthy, but it's look it doesn't even touch the cub. He's just diving in. Berserk, big Nico, Nico ultimate, but with the stopwatch on the pep, it keeps him alive long enough to just turn that around. Two for two, three for two. Now Shiki just let, waiting for his team to come back him up because he just that twitch damage is going to yeah finish them off. Adept ADC, the only man left alive. He is gone as well. This should be the game now. You know, 40 seconds, 30 seconds on these death timers. Baron, uh, Baron buff minions there. We've got the wave. Uh, yeah, Pep's gone to bring the mid-wave instead. Yep, and with two Baron, uh, two waves of Baron minions, that looks like this will be the end. And uh, well, Garlic Bread Mafia might have won, but Galus uh, ended up killing the cup, so who's the real winner? <laughs> yeah, to be fair, they shut down Trundle. That's... You always get to that point in the game, don't you? But yeah, that was a great game from Garlic Bread Mafia. Galus, there were some... Some things that work, something that didn't. Maybe they're going to go back to the drawing board for next game. Maybe they're going to just tweak it a little bit. We'll see what happens as we head into game two. Yep. We will see you everyone in a minute.
Brisk, chilling air is calling, and out there we're free to run and jump and live so wildly. Head first, we'll go tumbling through places unknown, with nothing but the stars to light our way. And though the sun may set at night, tomorrow. Look so bright, cause home, home is when you're by my side. No matter what we do, together we'll see it through. And I hope, hope that we won't drift apart, even though things change. Without you, it's not the same. I know it's true. Life's better when it's me and you. Welcome back, everyone. We are here for game two of Garlic Bread Mafia versus Gallus. Obviously, Garlic Bread Mafia just took game one in a pretty convincing victory, I would say. Yep, uh, that was a good showing for Gar from Garlic Bread Mafia, I would say, especially the jungle and the bot lane. Uh, really good performance from them and one person I had to shout out on Galus was Magical Myth who was doing his best to keep Galus in the game and now Galus will have their bans back because uh, their jungler is back now and immediately yeah. we see the Twitch ban yeah, that's, yeah you know we were saying some adjustments that's, that's, an, that's an easy adjustment isn't it one click and the Twitch is gone. <laughs> so then we have the Zaya band, no adjustment there. Oh, and and the uh, Trundle as well, just taking away both the problems for them in that last game. Yeah, the good old. They beat us with it, so we got to ban it. Yeah. My, my usual solo queue plan is like, if I, if, I, if I lose the game to something, I ban it to the next one. Maybe that's why I'm stuck in gold. Uh, I just ban a Kali every single game. Oh, that's a, that's a good one. That's a good a one. Good strat, yeah. Uh, and then the other week, I did that. I, I lost really, we lost really hard to, I can't remember what pick it was, but I banned that. A Kali got picked, and I got absolutely demolished by an Akali. And I learned my lesson. Yeah, and we see, <laughs> we actually see five AD carry bands. Yeah, so that's huge. 
both teams don't want the enemy AD carry on comfort, and it's gonna be a first pick Jarvan, so Milky Cereal coming in with some early game aggression. And yeah, not not really a meta jungler at the moment, but uh, we'll see what we, what Milky can do with it. I'm expecting maybe a good old level 2 gank mid lane or something. Oh yeah, it's absolute classic. Get that uh, level 2 gank going. Yeah, and it's going to be the Swain again. Yeah, I mean, it was, you know, did pretty well on it. It wasn't, you know, he wasn't under the main spotlight, like the Twitch and the uh, Drundle, but it was a very solid performance from Shiki on that uh, Swain. And that's going to be the Brom for, from the Grand B guy. I am not a big fan of Brom Blunt. I think... Yeah. Some range supports can just mess him up real bad, but we'll see what will be the answer. Yeah, I'd be surprised if uh, they don't lock in some uh, an enchanter now. I mean, there's there's the Ezreal. And it's really into Braum. Yeah, yeah Braum can bl block a lot of your stuff, especially the Trushad Barrage. Not the best. Will we see Bard? Uh, oh no! It's gonna be the classic, the the lane. No. You hate to face every time. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Yeah, you hate. Oh, to thank see God! It. Thank God! We we don't see the cat. Like you know, in real life, cats, great, great creatures in League of Legends. Not yeah. so much. I mean, yeah, I've got my cat. Love my cat. It doesn't fly around on a book and ruin my solo queue games, though. So, you know. <laughs> okay, and this is the good old tried and true classic, Brom Lucian. Maybe forgotten a little bit about, but back in the days, it was a bot lane that wanted to kill you. Now, yeah, I mean, it's still solid, isn't it? And the reason yeah. why, uh, if anyone's forgotten, that you know. The Lucian just has such an easy time procking that uh, Braum passive. Yep. Um, especially if you get like a level one invade with a broad Lucian team, it can be just unbelievable. Yep, a very easy time procking the Braum passive. Uh, it's like back when uh, it was only melee supports, Bram Lucian was like Lucian Nami nowadays, I would say. But yeah, uh, I'm not sure how how the bot lane matchup goes exactly, but I would assume that Lucian Brown can do a lot of damage in that in that lane. And now we see the bans, the Nico and the Ari are gone, so Magical Mid will not have his Nico again. And on the other side, it's gonna be the Wukong and the Shen removed. Yeah, I mean, Galibur Mafia, even though they won. They still appreciated how much magical mid was able to uh, impact the game on that Nico. So taking that away. And it's Pretty gonna good. be the Orn for and Orin. So he's gonna stay on the tanks. Fiora is open again, and that's definitely a decent matchup for Fiora. I would say it's a good matchup. It's way easier to play than the Shen. And it's gonna be the Akali, the the one champion you hate. <laughs> Yeah, I know my my nemesis. Thing is, I uh, I str I'll, I'll struggle to cast Nikali actually because I don't know what her abilities are called because uh, I just ban it every time. <laughs> fair point. Fair point. Uh, Maybe I and we'll ban him. see what's on what's gonna be there for two trick top or maybe it's a Kali top. Uh, uh, let's see. Yeah, it's gonna be the Fiora into the or Yeah, as I I think that that's way better matchup than Fiora into Shen. So yeah, gonna be able to do some damage. But on the other hand, if you move this, if you move this Orn into a team fight, that's gonna be very scary. And that's definitely like, uh, I think at this point, if you look at the champions on the left side, 
that's way harder to execute. And the poppy jungle, mm. that's gonna be very hard to deal with. Because, you know, everyone, literally everyone other than Ezreal is using a dash. So yeah. that Poppy W has insane value. <laughs> yeah, it's... Uh... Oof. One thing that I didn't really uh, call out in as we were picking as well is uh, um, the bans for Gallus. They banned four of the five champions they played against. True, true, true. true. And then the only one they didn't ban was the Swade. <laughs> Which did get picked. Yeah. And yeah, I would say that's like running into Brom, Orn, Poppy, Swain. That's very scary. And generally, most of the, those champions, Rakan, Akali, Jarvan, they kind of want to run into you. So maybe some sort of 1 3 1 coming in from Galus would be the answer. Because I don't think they'll be able to win the team fights. Unless they are monstrously ahead, not a straight like a straight up, you know, front to back team fight. I Garlic Rage Mafia's composition just absolutely has the edge in those situations. We'll have to see if they, yeah, if they adjust for that. Yeah, let's see if, as I'm saying, if Galus can get their solo lanes ahead, maybe they can go for some sort of. One three one, uh, but that's definitely a way harder. Uh, it's way harder to play like this than to just you know group press your R buttons. Uh, <laughs> press R to win fight, yeah. Yeah, and like this poppy can literally just press W and you can't put the, the yeah just, deny the engage. just can't play the game right for a couple seconds yeah like oh do you want to assassinate lucian well i'm poppy and i've pressed a w so you can't yeah, get and then lucian. you still have the like even even if the poppy misuses her w there's still brom and <laughs> swain on top of that lucian yeah there, there's a lot of peel i will say maybe they're lacking a little bit in damage on garlic bread mafia like they are really like just the main two carries, and if you can take them down, they'll be in a lot of trouble. So how well they play this composition, if they make that peel effective, yeah, make and break this composition. Also, uh, maybe like if they can get ahead, they can just steamroll. But with Akali, Jarvan, Fiora, I would, I, I can definitely see it happening. Uh, but as we saw in the previous game, early game looked a bit more in Garlic Bread Mafia favor. So we'll see how it looks. And we're going to go into the game in 40 something seconds. Uh, so, yeah, I think that's all that we can say about the team fights and how we expect the game to look. So. Let's see if Gallus Esports can bring it back. Yeah, I'm hoping, hoping you know, we get that. Don't just get a 2 0. It's always nice when we get a, a good series going. And, and I think maybe with locking in these picks, maybe they've gone like, because, you know, like the Nico is such a good team fighting pick, but they just couldn't execute those team fights. So they've kind of gone. Guys, what if we just don't team fight? <laughs> yeah, yeah, so, true, true. So maybe this is the adjustment that they need. Uh, and to be fair, they never really got to team fight. It was always one person getting picked off randomly at some point. So, and magical mid then coming in doing his heroics. Uh, Let's see, we should be moving into the game real quick. Let's look once again if we see anything spicy in terms of summoners or runes. Nothing really out of the ordinary. Uh, so it's just weird to see heal gone now. Like You never really see it anymore. It's always exhausting yeah. the AD carries again. I love that there's never really a choice of uh, summoner spells like in bot or whatever. It's just there's always just like the meta one. Yeah, 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 definitely. 
Uh, sometimes you AD carries will choose to go cleanse versus, let's say, Leona or Ash, but neither of those champions is really played that much anymore. Uh, but yeah, other than that, we don't really see that. Uh, and as Lucian versus Akali, Fiora, you definitely want that exhaust. You don't want to yeah. get permadove yeah. by those champions. But as I say, it. it Diving into Garlic Bread Mafia's composition is definitely very hard. So we will see if they ever will be able to even get to that Lucian. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited. I'm really excited for this game. Uh, see how this one goes. Yeah, I'm at 10. Oh, crikey, it started. Yeah, well, let's get at 10. Yep. Yep. Yep, and we are in the game. As you said, Brom, Lucian, level one. They are definitely going to look from, Ooh, for some they, sort of interest. Yeah, they're, yeah, they're grouping up, going together, not doing the, not doing just the, uh, the River 5 setup. Um, Gallus going for that sort of. Five River Self, we'll see if they're doing it properly or if they've just gone to check their phone. Oh, I've got a message on Insta, just one sec, guys. Uh, so they are spotted out by Starry Support on that Rakan. They didn't get the word, so no one will have the slight oh. edge in XP. Oh, never mind. Oh, let's go. <laughs> and they. Let me uh, see real quick. They gave it to Lucian, so I'm not exactly sure because I know in mid. Or like in solo lane, you actually can get level two one creep earlier, but I'm not yeah. sure how it affects bot lane. I don't. I think because of bot lane, because you're sharing the XP. I don't even know. Yeah, I don't think it's changed this much. Less than a full minion worth. Oh, and we see it. Gallus. <laughs> Gallus is actually looking for something spicy oh, as well. So they spotted Orn out on that ward. So two tick top leading the charge there onto him. Then Doran. Got the blast pad. If he can get there, he's safe. So, Garlic Bread Mafia know that their red is being taken now, but they can't necessarily do anything about it. Yeah, and we'll see if there's going to be some sort of vertical jungling coming in. I'm expecting the cap to just sprint towards enemy red buff. Yeah, especially with the wards already there. Uh... You know, Grumpy pushed up after this to cancel the invade, just snuck a ward in that bush by red buff, so... It's pretty tasty. Yeah. Doesn't really have the most priority in the lanes, as far as I can see. Uh, so that might be a bit dangerous, although he's gonna go for it. Okay, and the Jarvan level, level, level 2 flash immediately for Thendoran. Very smart play. Nice pathy from that Jarvan as well. Yeah, that gives Cap time to take some of the camps from the Jarvan. Jarvan has taken his red buff and his Krugs. Uh, so the Poppy is gonna take the the chickens and the red buff for it. I mean, maybe he, he knows Java's top side, so he might even move down and just get the Krugs as well. Go for, like you said, the full vertical jungle clear. Yeah, looks like he's also has Pryo in the bot lane and in the mid lane, so that should be a relatively safe. Yeah, free, free Krugs for the Poppy. And that's probably one thing where we don't see Jarvan as much anymore. His clear is definitely way slower than the meta junglers. Yeah. Uh, his, his ganks are great, like as we saw, he just he walked into that lane, he flagged and dragged, flash drop for Fendoran. It just comes to whether down they can capitalize on that flashless Orn as to whether or not the pick's really worth it. I think if if Jarvan's not making plays happen on the map, he he'll start to fall behind. Yeah. And Poppy maybe also not the fastest, but definitely a fair bit faster with her yeah. AoE on Q. So it's more useful late game as well. Yeah. Um, it'll be tough to and play Jarvan late. So looking like there might be some shenanigans in Ooh, the mid lane. Oh, magical mid in that shroud. So pretty safe. Two trick top and Milk Serial came down. So 
not able to secure any kills there, but Flash was blown by Shiki. Yeah, so, so far, two ganks, two flashes. Not the worst, not the worst, but let's see if the, the German can make something more of it. Yes, yeah, just need to secure a kill now. Um, massive wave for Fiora at that top turret now. On push that in. Uh, Thundoran, he's going to recall. And Jarvan actually gets some of the chickens back, so... Not going to be that far behind anymore. Yeah, I mean, they're pretty much even in CS, both level 4, so it's pretty good. Pretty good going, Poppy had to back, obviously. J4 backed a little bit earlier, I think. Yeah, and no, that's actually a pretty big CS advantage. I'm not sure if Jarvan will be able to... Uh, sorry, Swain will be able to CS all of it. And he's staying, even though he's very low on mana. Also, the Swain does not have the teleport. No, so that's no. a bit rough. Yeah, Ignite on Akali as well. So, very kill heavy. Um, so, nearly level 6 in this top lane. Still just going at each other. Not in this, this is just level 5. Um, but, yeah, Thandoran. A little bit weak at the moment. Um, another early Drake for the Garlic Bread Mafia. Yeah, yeah got is. the Pryo in the bot lane. Yeah. And got the dragon. Yeah. Just a textbook play there. They didn't have priority in the mid lane uh, with Swain backing, but I think they were confident enough in their bot lane that they, could, they knew they could take it with just them to back them up. Um, yeah, I feel like it's a, a bit of a different pace this game to the last one. It's a little bit, a little bit more chilled out than game one. Yeah, and I think if it goes like this, the Garlic Bread Mafia will be very happy. No, oh, oh. Doran up in the ultimate. But two trick toss got the upper hand here. Not even got level six. Whoa, this is so close. Just oh, goes for the flash. Takes oh. it. As well. The cover is there. Oh. Probably gonna no. Able to dash away. Does he want to dive this? He does want to dive this. Stunned against the turret. Gets the return super low by that turret, but there's no danger there. Gives him the thumbs up. Yeah, the the default emo. One thing we saw is like the trip mid lane actually cost two trick top a lot of XP mm. and a lot of CS. He's actually 10 CS down, even though he got the solo bola and the first blood. Uh, only now he should be even in CS. And he's gonna lose some of this wave to the tower, so that's not the best. Yeah, it's quite a huge wave, and I think, yeah, there's literally the entire wave is gone to the tower. Another one coming in now, at least. That's not too bad. Uh, Milk Serial and Magical Mid of Rome to uh, take this second red buff. Just deny that from the poppy. Pandora's moving down, making the moves. Milk Serial is up against this Swain. Don't think he wants this. Flag and drag it over the wall. Keep himself safe. There's the emotes. Didn't see enough emotes in the last game. Yep. Yeah. Uh, that was a nice bit of banter. Definitely. And Milky Cereal might be in trouble. Both the Swain Ooh, and the Poppy are collapsing. Collapsed on. But he does have magical yeah. mid and the Rakan there. Starry support. Not quite six, but still can be impact impactful on that champion. Turn in. Really even in this mid lane. Both Shiki and Magical mid just neck and neck in CS. But always, what you find in the wave always just pushed more to that Swain side because Akali feels pretty safe from Poppy Ganks. Yeah, bot lane, pushed up. bot lane also slightly behind on the Ezra side, but not the biggest deal. Yeah. So they're going to be happy about it because last time the bot lane was a bit of a disaster. Uh, yeah, so the game is looking pretty even, and I would say the game going pretty even is once again something that benefits Garlic Bread Mafia. Most likely. Unless... Yeah, definitely. Ooh. Ooh. 
So two trick top. He's going in on the door. I don't think he's going to make anything happen there. But director camera said we Ooh. must go top. There's the ultimate. Oh my god, one battle, two gone. That's really nice. Now Jarvan's here in the bot lane. He's got the ultimate. He's going to hang on to it for now. Flash is blown. Uh, flash and that's, exchanged. Yeah, exchanged. Yeah, that's a flash from Delusion. So that's once again. Milky maybe not getting the kills, but he's getting flashes everywhere. Well, the problem is oh, he's, the flash has come back and he has caught his own jungle. Oof. It's kind of Tried grim. to wait out the poppy W, but just took a bit too long and the poppy damage actually... Yeah, it's pretty scary. Unknown. There's the Braum just catching that uh, <laughs> Ezreal ultimate. And then Doran might have died twice, but he's still keeping up in the CS. I'm he is. not a fan of the build. I think if you're playing versus Fiora, bro, just get just get the early Bramble Vest. That really makes it harder for Fiora to all in. Yeah, ooh, get some nice damage down there, even though he's 0-2 against the 2-1 Theora. Yeah. But, yeah. yeah. Damage is definitely one thing Orn isn't lacking in the laning phase, but uh, the issue is Fiora can proc the repost very easily against Orn. Yeah, it's very telegraphed. Yeah, yeah, and there's like three spells she can get the stun off. Uh, maybe even four. Uh, anyhow, yeah. He he deals a lot of damage to her, but she can just uh, she just kills him faster than yeah. he does. There, oh, Milksio drops the ultimate on Thendoran, but has he got enough damage to go through this on? Should do. No. Nope. Magical mid is really? on their yeah. way. I think Akali gets this. Yeah, there we go. S secured. That was the plan all along. However, with the jungler and the mid top, that's just straight up Garlic Bread Mafia gone. Yep, dragon. Sorry. Sorry, Thendoran. You're dead. We're getting dragon. And Thendoran's like, yep, okay. <laughs> yeah, I think if I'm Thendoran, I'm like fine with this it's a bit frustrating to yeah. keep dying but on the other hand you're playing orn that's pretty much your job that's it like it doesn't feel good to keep dying but it does feel good to win in the end so yeah that's what, what it's all about magical mid with the nice outplay there but shiki taking it down whoa gets the shutdown Ooh. on the poppy flash from shiki probably gonna secure that one as milk Seal gets the rift herald on his own that's pretty nice the solo laners from Galus Esports popping off. Yeah. We saw Magical Mid popping off previous game, but here we see him again doing pretty well on the Akali, getting a kill in a 2v1, yeah, trading it back, but yeah. The difference from game 1 to game 2 is, again, the solo lanes are popping off, and the bot lane is kind of doing okay. Whereas, obviously, last game, the bot lane wasn't doing so hot. Uh, Pep and Grumpy were just popping off last game, so... Definitely a much better position this game so far. And we see Grumpy with a little bit of a gank towards the top lane. Cub is also coming in. Yeah. Oh, they were just waiting for Two Trick Top to commit. Ooh. There's the all knock up, and there's nothing. Fiora, Two Trick Top does not get to play League of Legends right there. True Shot Project coming across. Not really able to do anything right now, but it's pff, such a short cooldown. You may as well. Yeah, then Doran doing a really good job just baiting to trick top in. Oh, and that looks like a bit of a dive on the pep. No flash. Yeah, it does have the exhaust, but it's not enough adept to get that one. That was, that's got to feel good after the last game. Yeah, and the exhaust straight that, but that's going to be... But both flashes saved from the side of Galus, so that's definitely good. And it's going to be the Herald charge as well. So this Ezreal gonna get a lot of gold on his back. Yeah, start funneling some gold to the spot side will be good. Let them catch up to the rest of their team. Um, Magical mid pushed up there and is now roaming bot. Looks like he's going to get happy. He's going to walk straight. And it's not, it's his own ward. Doi. But look at the protection. Look how tanky they are. Star spot in the back line. Doesn't get the knock up though. Doesn't have the charm available. He just has to walk away. Depth agency super low. Milk cereal is in there, but I don't know what he can make happen. True shot barrage connects, but there's not enough damage yet. And uh, that was a really nice poppy ultimate, just eating the Akali out. Yeah. 
<laughs> before she can execute anyone. Also, uh, kind of unfortunate that both kills go to Grumpy, but uh, you gotta ah. take what you can. Yeah, uh, Grumpy won't be saying that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but on the yeah. other hand, that's... Look at me, I'm the carry now. Uh, a lot of gold and the play this way that I think Galus was just looking a bit for a bit too much. Yeah, I think maybe they're trying a little bit too hard to force something there. Yeah. And uh, Pappy's probably going to take this one. It's going to take Ezreal quite a while to get back there. It doesn't have the ultimate to clear the wave, so... Lucian should be able to get that when the wave comes back. Yeah, and one thing we see again is like... The tank is getting... Oh, let's wait a second. The Ooh. all in is coming in. <laughs> There's only two truck guests, a little heal there. Yeah, Fendor has to flash away. And like, look, like, the Fiora's got two kills, the Orn's got three deaths, but they're still like neck and neck. In fact, I'd say Orn's probably ahead. No, he's behind 60 gold, but that means nothing. Yeah, if you... Oh, oh Jarvan's coming in. Yeah, no ultimate, unfortunately. Uh, I don't doubt that if he had it, he would have pressed it there. Just for yeah, the damage, more than anything. I think Tutrik top is... Like, playing a bit too aggressively at some points, and he's just... Like, bro, you're gonna win this lane anyway. So just calm down a little bit. Yeah. That's it, just get your combo off and then maybe chill. Because he doesn't have the regen on Thandora. And speaking of chill, no chill here. Milk Cereal has come back. Does not have the ultimate, but it doesn't matter. That's a dead Orn. Yeah, and this time, ten... Thandora and getting debated. Deja vu. We've got Milk Serial head top lane, and the rest of the um, rest of Gallus, uh, rest of Gallus and Mafia just head straight to that mid and take a turret. Yep, and it's not only gonna be the tower; it's gonna be the soul point as well. Wow, as an Akali, sixteen minutes as well is such a yeah. threat. As an Akali, you see enemy team has mountain soul. You kind of hate your life. Yeah. Way harder to burst through it, and people like yeah, Orn, Brom, Poppy, and Swain are just like, Yep, that's great. I love it. <laughs> Way harder to kill through those, uh, to get through those chunky boys. Oh, but that's an all in oh. from the Jarvan. I think the Brom ultimate there, really nice, just keeping them safe, stopping the engage. Allowing Swain to put some damage on as they retreat. Yep, and that's Ooh. gonna be all in this trade. Oh, no, never mind. Trakan can yeah, just have away. <laughs> yeah, it's Ricard, he's, he's fine. Um, two trip top really pushed up here, but look at this damage coming out. Oh, nice repost, but doesn't stun him, but still gets the kill. Yeah. He's just at that point now, he's got the Sunder finished. Able to get a lot of damage down. Magical mid exhausted immediately, but still, look at the damage from this Akali. Assassinates the pep. Now he's just got the cub. Don't know if he wins this 1v1, but he doesn't have to if he doesn't want to have a 1v1. <laughs> Gives him a little bit of a yeah. emote spam, mm. and it might actually bite him in the yeah. back. Yeah, that's a little bit cheeky, that, because it looks like the cub's going to get the 2v1. Holy moly, that poppy is... Pretty scary. Grumpy looking to 1v1 the enemy top laner. Yeah. Not doing the best, not doing the worst, but yeah, yeah, once got, again... Got, got two kills, he's getting cocky now. <laughs> yeah, once again, Cub in the right place, in the right time. Pep probably not so happy, really nicely waited out everything by magical mid. He waits out the, the Poppy W. I think he flashed the Poppy ultimate or something. Not entirely sure, but yeah, just gets onto the AD carry and kills him through the exhaust, through the Poppy W, but the cub just takes him, yeah. takes two people back for the price of one. And the second Herald, let's see if anything will happen about it. Yeah, it's looking like both teams, you know, they're, they're interested, the, the, the penciling it in, but we'll see if they actually commit, switch to that Biro. Magical mid. Just being a little bit cautious, just walking out there. Ezreal has come as well. 
Fiora is alone, bot lane, has the TP available. Milk Serial potentially caught, but able to flag and drag his way out. Old Ultimate not connected, forcing them off. They've got the blue buff. They're still going. Ezreal laying down poke as they leave. And yeah. Fiora, yeah, he's on that turret now. So we'll see if this is a trade. Yeah, and this is kind of what Galus will have to do from now on. In the 5v5, there's not much you can do. So yeah. just let the f give Fiora time to split push. The second Herald doesn't really matter as much. Just give it, don't die for it. Yeah, just uh, Ezreal is doing a good job, yeah, just I mean, poking them out, not letting them, not letting them stop. Not oh. able to get that turret before the on TP's in, but that's now made it 4v4, doesn't matter, Cub. Just, yeah, annihilates Jarvan. They did get the TP off. They, they stopped it. I'm not sure if they both needed to commit for it. I think just Rakan could have yeah, been fine. Yeah, you just need the, the displacement and then you're golden, but maybe a little bit, bit, more, bit of a miscommunication there. As the ultimate, like, chunking the pep down to half, that's really nice. Pep actually realized that he's kind of in danger there, I'm just backing off. Uh, what is the mo maybe more important is they kill off the wave real, real quick. Yes. And that allows time for Fiora to reset. Now Fiora is going to do exactly the same thing as she was doing, but in the top lane. At the same time, the dragon is coming up, and that's definitely not a dragon you want to give. That's a mountain soul. You could argue which souls are the strongest, but mountain soul is definitely one you hate when you have people yeah. like Akali and Jarvan. I say for this composition, it's the one that you really don't want the enemy team to have. Um, that is coming up, you know, tw to be on soul point with the soul spawning in twenty seconds. It's really good on those dragon times with Gallic Red Mafia. Gallus, they're going to have to try and contest this, I think. Yeah. But we'll see if they They actually... won't have Horn with them, which is a huge part of their engage slash disengage or their peel. Because he doesn't yeah. have to be. Oh, well, Milk Serial in. dives in, but Pep is immediately there, laying down that ultimate. Magical mid tries to get the assassination, does make it happen. The cup annihilates that Java. Now, Adept ADC trying to kite back Shiki. Star support is here to help his AD carry, but Magical Mid had to back away. Now on this back line, oh, get another kill. Shiki is gone. Two trick top now, laying down the pain after teleporting in, but the Flash is going to keep them safe with Ezreal dead and Magical Mid so low. They cannot push this any further, but they've stopped the soul being secured. Yeah, uh, although they lost their jungler, so they can't really go for the rake. And now two tricked up, looking for the Poppy. Yeah, Poppy stun didn't connect, which is good, but they're not. He doesn't want to push that any further. J4 has spawned now, so it looks like yeah, they're going to start this dragon. Maybe a little bit too early because Poppy is here. Lucian's coming, or just pushing that top plane in. Yeah, they're going to just yeah. keep him away. Yeah, that looks like once again the soul will be denied, similar to previous game. And once the game, once again, the game is really, really close. Uh, yeah, I mean, overall, there's like 600 gold in it. Like, that's nothing. Yeah. The Ezra going aggressive, but I don't think it can really do much damage to the Orin. There's no one flanking, so Orin just gonna walk away. Uh, yeah. And once again, I think the game is up magical to Magical Minis Core oh. here. Able to get away with that flash burn, but not ideal at this stage in the game. He's gonna back now. He needs to, yeah. He needs to get. Oh, two trick top is diving in. Nice Javan ultimate, but look at the look Ooh. at the pop. Keeping his team safe. But the pep will die once yeah. again, so it's one for one. Oh, oh huge, huge Swain bomb ultimate as well. Swain ultimate doing so much damage. Uh, Braum is gone, Swain is gone, there's only the Cub and Thendora left alive. Rift Herald will secure that turret for them, buy them enough time to escape. And that's pretty good for Gallus, I have to say. Yeah, after the Poppy disengaged, it, it looked really good, but then they still managed to kill the Pep and uh, Shiki. 
So we'll see what they can do. Oh, and it looks like it's gonna be Baron for Galus Esports. If Yara has to watch out. Yeah, no, they're gonna back away. Oh. Because of the scuttle, they knew it was being taken. So. Yeah, and just a vital that. proc on the Ooh, floor, it feels nice so much shot damage. damage now. Oh, they actually didn't have da enough yeah, damage to do the Nash. No. no, they didn't have damage because of Scuttle. Uh, it, it, oh, they, yeah, couldn't, yeah. they couldn't sneak it, so... Yeah, this Ezreal is putting out quite a bit of damage now. Maybe he's been sleeping on it a little bit, but he's you know, it's 4-1 and now. Which is a stark contrast from Game 1. Doing much better now. And really having an impact with these gill shots being thrown across. Yeah, and one thing we can see is how much damage this Fiora is doing. He procced one vital on the Q, on the cub with the Sunderer proc, and it actually dealt like one fifth of the poppy's damage, uh, of, the, of the poppy's yeah. HP, sorry. So yeah, this Fiora is getting scarier and scarier, and scarier mm -hmm. with the levels and the items. Oh, that's magical it. mid, Ooh. looking for something. And yeah. that's gonna be the Akali ultimate wasted. As Galibear and Mafia just turn onto this Baron, they know Fiora's bottom lane. That teleport is actually not quite available, I don't think. So, just gonna keep pushing uh, Agalus. Are they gonna give this one up? There's the old one. Look, is right in the middle, not at the time to steal, maybe just to prevent. Fiora TP coming in. Yeah, Fiora TP coming in. It might be too late. Magical mid doing what he can. That Baron is also putting down quite a lot of damage. Shiki, he drops. Starry Support is in there with the knockup. Magical mid needs to get in there, but Ezreal is doing so much damage as well. The Baron has gone over to the Cub. Disengaged now with only two members of Gallus left alive. This could be an ace for the Gallic Bear Mafia. Oh, yep, the Kali gets stacked. Looking for something cheeky. Cheeky. I don't know if Galibur Mafia actually, did, like, are they going to back? Oh, no, they're going to go for it. Lucian, look at the damage coming down there. He's he's just got, Lucian's just gone from 0, 4 to 3 and 4. Like, that's a really nice fight from him. He still like, had two items anyway. Shut down onto the Ezreal, uh, from the Ezreal. That might itself spawn, spawn in a minute. Maybe they'll get it this time. Yeah, and I got to applaud Garly Bread Mafia. They have forced the, they, they have seen Akali used her ultimate. They have seen Fiora bot lane, and they were like, "Yeah, let's go. Let's force, uh, yeah. let's force the Nasher." Like you could see that Akali was doing pretty much nothing in this fight. Yeah, without the perfect execution, just had to just spend most of the fight just dancing around the outside. Yeah, Akali not the best poke champion, so the Q <laughs> Q spam didn't really do much, and yeah. Now Fiora is top lane without the teleport, so is are they just gonna give the mountain so that's the um, question. I don't know. Fiora's now actually pathing uh, down towards this dragon. Oh okay. It's Looks twenty like, seconds. Yeah. So yeah, they will have to, they will be able to contest, so Yeah, those are all our items coming out now, so Lucian's got his upgraded Kraken Slayer. And of course Orn's already got the upgraded Sunfire Cape. Never, I never remember what the Orn items are called. Yeah, because they changed. Yeah. And Worm Fallen Sacrifice. Yeah, I think fallen. I remember the old ones, but now it's just, they changed everything. Yeah. It's just... So we've got a oh. 5v5 down here around this Dragon Pit. Milk Cereal again with the engage. Is the rest of his team able to back and up? He gets Immediately one shot. And Starry Spot is in there now with the charm, but it's not quite enough. Tank Top, he pops to the Swain, Shiki. Putting out so much damage, Adept ADC is caught a magical mid running for his life. That's going to be the soul for the Garlic Bray Mafia. Yeah, and they still have the Nashor buff, so let's see how much yeah. they can do with it. Still have that running, there's only an Akali left. Akali can't really clear the wave against five members of Garlic Bread Mafia, so I think they get an inhibitor off this. So still got like 10 seconds on those death timers. Yeah, they might even look for the end if they are feeling cheeky. Ooh, I mean, there's still, yeah, 10 seconds on Ezreal, 10 seconds on Fiori. They got that Baron buff, they got the Mountain Soul to keep them safe. And, yeah, yeah, the looks like they go gonna... Whoa, look at the damage onto that J4. Stopwatch. Zonya's, in fact, popped. What? Uh, and he's gone. Cub is godlike. 9 1 and 9 again, only one death. Never mind, two deaths. As <laughs> the True Shot Barrage cuts him down. 
Yeah, Fiora oh looking God. for a kill, but I don't think she's gonna find it yet. That's gonna be Fiora down. And Ooh, yeah. Tor's come to the sway, that cuts his damage quite a bit, but he has got the zonies as well. To just wait that one out. Magical mid finally gets that kill that he needs. Yeah, not much mana, Ian, not much no. HP. He's gone. Pandoran, and... only one alive. Pep, sorry, but Pep is still there. I thought he was gone, but he came back just to, you know, grab one more kill. There we go. I, uh... Yep, I really can't emphasize enough as well. Like, the Pep has gone from being 0-4 to being 8-4. Like, after this... Yeah, after the early game where they struggled a little bit, he's just really bounced back in this game now. Yeah, and they they grabbed some shutdowns back from uh, from the side of Galus, but I don't think they will be able to do much with it. I think they're just too far behind. And it's hard to push out when you have super minions coming in from mid lane. And you have already lost an Exus Tower, so... The one three one might be a bit hard to execute, and you can see how tanky this Orn is with both the Tord Mail and the Frozen Heart. So Fiora might not have the easiest time coming, cutting through all of that armor and HP. But we will see. And one thing, like the Jarvan build with the Zonias, that's pretty, pretty cheeky, pretty cool. What he can do, just goes in and stop and goes into yeah. stasis. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's been noticing that you know he dives in, flag and drag, pops his ultimate, and then dies immediately. Yeah, so, so he's not tanky enough. I don't know if there's always what I would go for, but I have seen it happen. Yeah, it's just you know. All, all players just sitting there going, I wish there was a, an AD stopwatch item, you know. Um, yeah. Two, three, top. Once again, looking for the Orn. I mean, he's There's pushing out really far. To say yeah, and the cab there. is there. Yeah, they're going to chase them down here, I think. I don't think he has any way out of this. Pushed against the wall, not able to proc those vitals. And he's gone. Yeah, I'm getting... Chains his hit to death, so this Fiora will not be able to do that. Uh, that's just doesn't have the damage to cut through yeah. those tanky members now. That's kind of the name of the game as well for two trick top, over pushing a little bit and getting caught. Oh, oh, and... Speaking of over pushing, yep. Milk cereal didn't not really have any business being that far forward, and again just melted. Kept on to the stasis, went, and, you know. If I go gold now, I'll just die in, in two seconds, so... Yeah, that would be the... Like, There's not much of hope. Invested so much money into that Zonyas. For stats that you don't really need, like all the AP, it's a... Uh, yeah. It's actually a pretty it. fun Aram build. AP Jarvan with the Emax. I recommend oh, it. The, the Flag the flag. And the, I think the shield scales up AP a little bit as well, doesn't it? Like pathetic. Uh, no, it's it's max HP, but the is the it? flag uh, is AP. Yeah, the flag is like eighty percent AP, so it can be pretty funny because it's hard to dodge. But yeah. yeah. Other than that, Zanyas and Jarvan, eh, can be good, but it's not looking very good. Like, yeah, I, think, I, mean, I, I, I know the thought. You have yeah, to get yeah. off. Yeah, yeah, you have to get off a really good ultimate. Yeah. But yeah. even if he gets a good ultimate, there's not really much his team can do with it. That, that's that's a bit of an issue. Yeah, there's not... I just don't think they have the follow-up right there. Two trick top yeah. right in the middle of it here. He's gonna drop. The pep is legendary. Star support, just dancing around, charming people. Looks here, flag and drags away, teleport from all. He's like, I want to join the Drop my ultimate. There it is. Star support, knocked up. Adept ADC, he does manage to arcane shift out, but with just him and Magical mid left, there's nothing they can do. It looks like Gallic Bay Mafia can secure the win here. Yeah, there's a, there's a disconnect. Two Shot Barrage comes out, not really able to do anything. And that's a 2 0 for the Gallic Bay Mafia. Yeah, so Gallic Bay Mafia will get their revenge. I think they will also move on to lead the table in Group B of Division 2.
I will have to double check that, but I believe that's the case. Uh, let's look real quick. Oh, I can't see the damage sadly because Riot climbed. Uh, uh, yeah, but a really good showing, I would say. Well, two people I would call out from I'm Garlic sure Mafia. The in the thing for you. Oh, okay. Yeah. Let, let, yeah. Go on. Here's your shout out for GVM. Yeah. Uh, the cop and a silent hero would probably be Grumpy. Yeah. First game on the Renata. Really good ultis. One thing that's really hard with Renata, I would say, is timing the bailout correctly. And yeah. he has been pretty much on point with those. Yeah. Also getting a lot of catches. And in the second game, he was just the front line his team needed in a lot of fights. Uh, yeah, and the cap, his, I think his KDA speaks for itself. He yeah. was always, always where he needed to be. Uh, yeah. Three yeah. deaths over two games, and I think 19 kills over two games. So, yeah. That's a really impressive stat line there. Yeah, and on the team of Galus, I would say Magical Myth definitely popping off in both the games. Sadly, couldn't really bring it home, but he tried his best, and he definitely looked by far the best on his team. Yeah, I mean, I- I'll give a shout-out to Adept ADC as well on Ezreal. In that oh, in the, game, the game, Seraphine yeah. performance was not. It did leave a bit to be desired, didn't it? Yeah. But uh, definitely turned it around in the second game. Had a much better performance on Ezreal. Yeah. Uh, actually, did the most damage in that game. Although on a poke champion, you do sometimes expect that. Yeah, and we're waiting a second for an interview. I'm not sure who we're gonna get. Mystery interview. Yeah, just waiting for the answer from Garlic Bread. All right, so in the meanwhile, I would also give a little bit of a shout out to our sponsor, which is Chula Drinks. I sadly have not been able to taste them yet because they don't deliver to my third world country. Uh, <laughs> but everyone else got them. Uh, I think some of the staff members, I think Gekno and Chime might have gotten it. I think our uh, overlord Joyce, he also had it. Uh... And our streamer. Our oh, yeah. Today. Yeah, says, yeah, yeah. Gives oh, them a yeah, big yeah, yeah. Up. Yeah, I'm they, not, they all not... say they are very good. So, uh, so if you wanna, if you guys want to get uh, the Chulo drinks, they all recommend it. I can trust them, so I also recommend it. You can get twenty percent off with the code VL twenty. That's if you go direct to the website. Yeah, and. I'll post it in chat real quick. Give me a second. And if you don't want to go direct to the website, you can also find them in HMV, Game, Yosushi, and Kenji. I've never been to Uh, Kenji, but I have been to Game once or twice. So... Yeah, I have spammed it in the Twitch chat. Yeah. So if you guys want to try, if you guys want to order some, please... Get it. Give it a and go. we will have Grumpy as an interviewee for tonight. Hello, hello. Hello, Grumpy. Hello, how's it going? Uh, we're, we're oh. doing good. It was uh, in, uh, had fun watching your games. Yep. Yeah, it's a, a little bit of a grudge match, you know, coming in. Uh, obviously, wanting to get revenge as like the two top teams on the uh, what we should call it the west side of the division. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Uh, let did, me. Did you get check. pumped up from the rap before you went into the game? Oh yeah. I mean, Cub. He, he was panning those bars all night, burning the midnight <laughs> oil, making sure that they were as biting and as cutting yeah. as possible. And as you saw, the mental diff was just immense as soon as he huge. stepped onto yeah. the riff. Yeah, I, I heard that next time you're actually gonna cancel scrims and just let him write the rap, and that's all the scrimming you need. You know, that's oh, yeah. all you need. I mean, 
if Iknatar gets back from his uh, his seven month holiday uh, and, and returns to the roster, we got to get uh, Cub in on the the penmanship game and the super <laughs> sub, the hype man. Let's go. Oh, you, you, you can, he can just be your ghostwriter. Like <laughs> someone else will do the rapping, but Cub will write it. So that that that's that's something you can consider. Uh, yeah, I was I was really impressed by like how Garlic Bread plays. We we have played you last week. And we actually made you sweat, so I was very proud of my team, Kappa. <laughs> uh, in the second game. First game we got rolled. Um uh, so yeah, how is it still a uh, faint who gives you the drills, the famous drills uh, for the macro play, or did anything change? Oh no! So at the moment, it's uh, so Ignatar and myself. We do pick and ban most of all, and uh, we just kind of like work out what we want to do, and then everyone goes and practices their stuff in solo queue, and then we maybe do one or two scrims in the week just to like prep everything like the way we want it and then we just uh, go in there so no coach at the moment uh, there were some okay. prospective coaches but they sort of turned up one day and went uh hi said one word and then they never returned once again nice That's the, the, the classic vl coaching experience <laughs> everyone who played in vl can confirm that they've been there i have been there uh, and i know a lot of other people have been there uh well, they Another? say a coach is much like a father, and, uh, you know... Oh. A new coach went to get they milk. They keep on leaving cigarettes. for milk, man. They keep <laughs> yeah. on leaving for milk. Yeah. So, looking forward, next week you have a buy, I believe, because the Enhagers have withdrawn. Uh, and then it's going to be Fireflies. Uh, so, what do you expect of that matchup versus Fireflies? How yeah, do you I think mean, it will go? Firefly is going to be an interesting one because obviously they uh, they got a couple uh, wins early on in the split. They took a game off Gallus. Uh, like when we played them, I think they were just sort of adjusting to their new roster. Um, like it was very early on in the season. It was our first game. So it will be interesting to see uh, if they come back any stronger because, uh, I mean, last time they counterpicked Mordekaiser into an Orn and uh, Thendoran got five solo kills. So let's hope they don't do that. Yeah, that's mm, a that, bit yeah. That would be ideal if that doesn't happen. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you and Gallus are leading the table and looking forward towards uh, playoffs. Who are you expecting to face, and who who maybe you want to face? Would be the question. Uh, so we're we're gonna come out as first seed, obviously, um, and then Gallus will come out second seed. They'll meet uh, Bram's team. And they're going to knock out Bram's team, and we'll see them in the finals. That's how it's going to go down. Okay. Uh, you've you've already got the playoffs planned out. Exactly. I, I heard I heard Bram's macro is kind of poor from someone. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so that that might give Gallus the advantage because Hyper- today they were no match for your macro. So you know. Yeah, I mean, hyper carry pineapple is just better than hyper carry Bram. That's all there is to it. Okay, throwing shade. I love it. Uh, Tom, any questions from you? Nah, I'm good. You, you know, you carried this one, so okay. So we need, we need. I only have Joe questions, and I got one in there already. So okay, Grumpy, any any shout outs, any any call outs before we end? Uh, yeah, I mean, obviously, shout out to Sissy Boy, who's been helping us out with uh, filling on scrims and stuff like that, uh, who didn't play today. Shout out to Cub for filling in these last few weeks uh, while it was being away, being a super carry jungler. And uh, obviously, everyone else, uh, we'll see if we can take the Div 2 playoffs and uh, win the finals. Yep. And I think that's going to be all from us. Thank you, Tom, for joining me. Thank you, Blaze, for yeah. streaming. And thank you to everyone who has tuned in. And that's all for today. See you on Monday. See you next time.